If you don't have a website visitor account on your WordPress site, well, you might be missing out on some really valuable insights. I'm talking about not only getting a clearer picture of your site's traffic, but also building more credibility with potential affiliates and advertisers, and that could boost your income and your online presence. Sounds pretty important, right? Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you how easy it is to set up a website visitor counter in WordPress. So if you want to take your site's performance to the next level, well, you're definitely going to want to hang around. Before we dive in, be sure to subscribe to the channel. That way you'll never miss a Monster Insights video. One of the easiest ways to add Google Analytics right to your WordPress site is with Monster Insights. Their Site Insights block allows you to easily display all of your important data, things like your visitor location, session duration, bounce rate, new versus returning visitors, and device breakdowns right on the screen. It's a super simple way to get that valuable analytics info right in front of your audience without having to dig through Google Analytics. Just drop the block into any page or post, and boom, all of your important metrics are there. Definitely a game changer for keeping close tabs on your site's performance. Now to get started, you'll need to grab Monster Insights at the plus level license or above. If you need a little help installing and setting up Monster Insights, well, be sure to check out the link in the description to how to add Google Analytics to WordPress. Okay, once you've got it all set up and connected to Google Analytics, well, you can add Google Analytics stats to your site. All you have to do is just go to any post or page and then click to add a block. Next, search for and add the site's insight block, and then choose the metric that you want to add from the right side panel. Then you can scroll to the right for more options and choose whether to add the scorecard or graph version to your post. And you can easily switch between the scorecard and the graph. All you have to do is just click on the three lines in the setting bar. Now, if you choose graph, well, you can change your color by clicking on the style icon in the sidebar, and that's it. Now, just click publish and update, and you're going to see your stats. Okay, now how to add a basic visitor counter. We're going to be using ElfSite Visitor Counter Widget. All you have to do is just add it to your site using a short code. Now, that short code can be embedded in any widget area, post, or page. And just as a heads up, the free version that we're going to be using for this tutorial covers up to 200 views a month. It only starts counting views from the moment that you embed it. And you can tweak the starting number, but by default, it kicks off at zero. Now, if you need more views per month, well, you'll just have to opt for one of the paid plans that are available. To get started, visit the Visitor Counter site and choose one of the five available templates by clicking on the Continue with this template button. Okay, next, you can personalize your widget by choosing the layout, the number style, the background, the colors you want to use, and a lot more by clicking through the three tabs on the left. And once you've made your choice, just click the Add to Website for Free button. Now you'll need to either log in or create an account. Then go ahead and click the green Publish button. On the next screen, you'll be prompted to pick a plan. So go ahead and choose a free one by clicking Select. And that's going to send you to a screen where you can copy the embed code in the green box at the top. So go ahead and copy it. And finally, just head back to your website and go to Appearance, and then to Widgets, and now add a custom HTML widget, whether you want your visitor counter to go. Or you can just open the page or your post that you want to embed it in and add an HTML block. Now, once you've embedded the HTML code, just click Update. And that's it. Your widget will now be displayed on your site. All right, there you have it. That's how you add a website visitor counter to WordPress. We hope that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe and be sure to check out the links in the description for more details. Up next, you'll definitely want to check out this video where I show you five easy ways to share your Google Analytics reports.